Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We've reached the letter U and U is all about unsubscribe. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how someone can unsubscribe from getting marketing emails from you. Sad but true, not everyone will want to get the emails all the time. So the first thing that we're going to look at is if we scroll down into the marketing templates area, we have form fields. Now, this is going to be a field that's automatically going to be set up for you when you install the Dynamics Marketing app, and that is the do not email field. And that maps through to the do not allow bulk emails field on the contact record. And by default, that is shown as a checkbox. You can change that, change to um, show as radio buttons if you wish. And so we can see here that this is actually used on some forms already. Sorry, it's going to be used on one form already, and that will be the default subscription center form that comes with the marketing app and then any of the forms that you have used it on. So now we know what field that's mapping to. Let's go ahead and look at a contact. So if I go in now, depending on the uh, the configuration of your specific system, this might be in a different place. But if I go into the details tab here, we've got those contact preferences that are set up. And at the moment, this person is allowing all types of communication. So that's great. Now, if we go and look at a form and let's look at the subscription form, we basically just need to make sure that that field is added onto that form. So when someone clicks at the bottom of the email and they're managing the subscriptions, go ahead and check out the letter S for subscriptions. Um, we put that field on here so somebody can basically say, do not email me at all. I want to opt out of everything. If I now go and look at an email where we've got that link at the bottom, I can say manage your preferences, <laughs> easy for me to say, manage your preferences or unsubscribe. And we can see here's everything that they are currently getting. Now they can come in and they could untick all those and then tick that. We can just have it as soon as they tick that, it doesn't matter about these things, even if they're still a part of those subscription lists, if they've said, do not email me, we will not be able to send out marketing emails to this contact from the system. So I'm going to go ahead and submit that. What that's doing then is we're submitting that form. If I go back in and if I go back to my contact, uh, where is she? Here's Jane. And let's just go ahead and wait for a second and we will refresh. Where's my refresh? There we go. So now we can see that bulk email field has been updated and now we can see that is set to do not allow. So that's how we deal with unsubscribes. As soon as somebody has that field set to do not allow, we will not be able to send the marketing emails out of the system. So you is for unsubscribe. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.